agents, an agent or an independent agent might um, be a lot more helpful with that, uh, with the logistics and everything as well. So uh, then we look at number three. Okay, so number three is the independent agency. Now this is like us here at 45 degrees out. Um, the first point of call, our first point of call when I go to look for a yacht for you is the best charter companies, okay? Uh, based on our experience with these charter companies and we're here on the ground and we actually work with within this industry we sail the yachts, we're here all year, um, and we know what photos on listings are stock photos and what listings are real photos of the boat. So this is something that's, that's really important. Um, and what we want to do is ensure that what you see is what you get in your charter. So that one's, that one's really important because that's our whole point of being in between you and who you get your boat off is to make sure that we're translating everything and um, communicating everything that can be communicated. <coughs> oh. <sighs> this way you don't have to sift through hundreds of yachts and hundreds of lots. I mean you can see you can see here on the on the charter is like you could just get there's just immediately there's so many options how many pages two three four five six so when you do that search they just come with absolutely everything that is available so you don't want to have to sift through all of that or maybe you do but that's why you would come to an independent agent like this so let's go for um let's go for the pros because part of this whole thing is is uh we know what to look for and we know what is included and what isn't. So pros, uh, we know the boats. I've sailed just about every model of boat out here that's, that gets chartered out here in Croatia and I haven't sailed one, I'm down to do it because I wanna know about these boats. So I've got a personal experience on understanding what this model's like and who it suits. All right, the biggest one I think is that we know the charter companies. Um, Knowing the charter companies is a big part about how your holiday is going to start and finish, of course, all in between, because the charter company is going to be your service point if anything goes wrong with the boat. Um, when you arrive, the other one's welcoming you, and when we suggest a deal or a yacht or something like this, we're looking for the whole experience to be good. All right, you're going to show up, you're going to be greeted well in the office, you're going to have a um, a realistic time that you've been given for check-in instead of sitting in the marina for three hours. We know the charter companies, we know which ones are a little bit, mm, I wouldn't book with them unless there's nothing else and other ones that are like, you know what, I'd pay more to go with them because the experience is top. Um, other one is we know the sailing area. When you get onto a call with, with myself or one of the team, is we're gonna talk to you about more than just what boat you want. We're after, where are you flying into? What is your plan? Are you driving? Are you um, planning to visit Dubrovnik afterwards? If you are planning to, here's a free bit of advice. If you're planning to visit Dubrovnik, um, don't do it with your time that's on the yacht, okay? Do it before or after your time on the yacht. You waste your time on the yacht, um, getting off the boat, taking the bus in or getting into the old town of Dubrovnik uh, to spend a whole day there because you should, it's an amazing spot. Um, so definitely do that before or after your charter. Uh, and it's actually quite a long hike in the yacht around from either ACI or Frappa around to the old town uh, in Dubrovnik to, to get there to see the walls from the outside, which is a great thing to do. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> um, um, what's the next one? Um, sailing area, and we know what a 46 foot yacht looks like with 10 people in it. Okay, so if you come to me and you say, yeah, we've got eight of us. Uh, I was thinking about a 35 footer. I'll be like, okay, uh, do you know each other really well and you're happy sleeping on top of each other or outside? Cool, all right, but understanding um, what each yacht looks like when it's got a whole bunch of people in it is really important. Um, and we know also that if in July you have a boat with no air conditioning uh, and no fans and you're planning on being on the docks, you're gonna melt. So these are really important little details that you wanna check uh, when you're booking your boat and just understanding what your trip is all about. 